In this screencast I'll show you how to introduce lags and delays in your Simulink simulation. So here we have a basic setup with a step change. So what's going to happen after two seconds the, there's going to be a change uh, from an initial value of zero to a final value of one and we're going to see the output on the scope. So if we run this we can see that this is what happens. That to start with we're at zero and then once we get to two we jump up to one on the y-axis and that just continues until the end of the simulation. Now if we want to introduce a delay we can go to the library click on continuous and then click on transport delay and then drag and drop that in to our simulation and we'll put a, uh, a delay time of let's say five seconds in fact if we double click on there we can uh, just make sure that this is all set up how we want it to be set up so the initial value is going to be zero and then that's going to after five seconds change to whatever the new input is in here so um, to connect this up we need to click on the input drag and drop and then unclick once we're on there uh, the scope we can right click, change the number of inputs to two, and we can link this up here, and then we can run the simulation, and it will show us that, yeah, that it took two seconds until the step was triggered for from the the source, and then this blue line represents what's happening with the the delayed signal and we can see it took an extra five seconds for that to change its value. We can also introduce a lag where there's a gradual change from the initial value to the final value. Again within the library and in the continuous uh, options we can click on transfer function, drag and drop that into our simulation. We'll link this one up to the step change We'll change the number of inputs to three on the scope and we'll link that up. Within this there are options for the numerator and the denominator and these values can be changed and tweaked to give us different transfer functions and therefore different performance in and different sort of characteristics of the lag. For now we'll just leave this with the default settings, click OK. We can run this, click on the scope, and we can see that we've got this extra line here, this orangey red line, where there's a gradual change from the initial value of zero through to the, the final value of one. Overall, that is how you can introduce lags and delays into your Simulink simulation.